students, faculty, family, friends, and honored guests, good evening. I am Chuck Rozak, Vice Provost for Graduate Education and Academic and Faculty Affairs, and I would like to welcome you to the 17th Annual Graduate Awards Ceremony. Thank you for coming today to honor our graduate students and the faculty recipients of the John F. Dekoff Awards. I look forward to this event every year since it gives our academic community an opportunity to recognize the contributions of so many individuals who make this university a special place to work and learn. Before we begin the ceremony, it is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ben Vincent III, Provost and Executive Vice President, who will present some opening comments. Welcome to the 17th Annual Graduate Awards Ceremony. It is a pleasure to see our graduate students and postdocs being recognized for their excellence in research, teaching, and service at Case Western Reserve University. Today is a day to recognize spectacular achievements, but we must also honor the path that has led you here. This has been a challenging time. There's no doubt that the past year has been filled with moments of angst and doubt, and likely even fear. But through all of this uncertainty, you have persevered. You have overcome the obstacles thrown your way. And you have reached this incredible milestone in the midst of exceptionally trying times. Today, we honor those moments. We honor your great achievements. We honor your ability to overcome. And in today's act of recognition, we are simultaneously looking to the future. We know that your future is filled with promise filled with the elements of excellence that you'll continue to cultivate in the years to come. We know this because we have prepared you with a Case Western Reserve University education. Today, we will also recognize winners of the John S. Dykoff Award for Excellence in Graduate Teaching and Mentoring. The members of our faculty community who are about to receive these awards represent the best of us. And I am privileged to count them among my peers. At Case Western Reserve, we inspire innovation, creative thinking, entrepreneurship, social justice, citizenship, and humanity. And the essence of who we are is manifested in these awards that you are about to receive today. In this moment, I could not be more proud of what today represents for you for us and for our university. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Vincent. We will now begin the presentation of awards from the schools in the College of Case Western Reserve University. Presenting the 2021 awards for the College of Arts and Sciences are Elizabeth Bowman, Professor and Chair of the Department of Art and Art History, Karen Potter, Professor and Chair of the Department of Dance. Georgia Cowart, Professor and Chair of the Department of English. David Rothenberg, Associate Professor and Chair of the Department of Music. And Heath Demery, Professor and Chair of the Department of Psychological Sciences. Hello, my name is Elizabeth Bowman and I'm Chair of the Department of Art History and Art. I'm delighted to announce awards made possible by our amazing Friends of Art group. The Friends of Art Best MA Paper Award this year is awarded to Mackenzie Clark for her paper entitled Theaters of Nature, Spaces of Knowledge, Artistic Representation in 17th Century Italian Collectors Catalogs. Our Friends of Art Best PhD Paper Award this year is awarded to Reed O'Mara for her paper, The Monstrous Script, Instances of Pseudo-Hebrew in 15th Century German Prints. Our final award is for the best overall performance by a graduate student. This is also a Friends of Art Award. The recipient this year is our advanced doctoral student, Bing Wang. Congratulations everyone on your awards, very well deserved. We admire and appreciate all of your hard work. Awards for the Department of Chemistry were announced at a ceremony earlier this semester, but we also wish to recognize the winners today. The Charles F. Mabry Award for Best Thesis in Chemistry is awarded to Jonathan Strobel. 
the Dumitru and George D. Matisku Graduate Student Citizenship Award goes to Zachary Ekstrom, Sarah Kroll, Guobi Lee, and Taddeus Liska. The Graduate Teaching Award in Chemistry goes to Garrett Grimm and Evan Van Orman. Thank you for joining us today for this awards ceremony. It's my pleasure to announce the names of the recipients of the Naomi Wolin Award for Excellence in New Collaborations or New Directions in Dance. The award is named for Ms. Wolin, who was a longtime supporter of dance at Mather Dance Center here on the Case Western Reserve University campus. Our recipients of the award are Christian Minta and Katie Neighbors. They are both candidates for the degree of the Master of Fine Arts in Contemporary Dance. Both of these individuals were unable to produce a regular thesis concert in the theater due to COVID. And instead, they each created solos and quintets, rehearsed them, and then videoed their dances, and then did all of the video editing in order to present their dances on our Case Western Reserve University Dance YouTube channel, where I know you will enjoy watching their work. Join me in congratulating Christian and Katie. Our second award in dance is the Cleveland Arts Prize, Catherine Karapides Scholarship in Modern Dance. It was established to support a graduate student to attend a summer dance workshop. This year's recipient is Haiyan Chen. Congratulations, Haiyan. The competitive Arthur Adrian and Roger B. Solomon Dissertation Fellowship releases advanced doctoral students in English from graduate assistantship duties for a semester to devote full-time attention to their dissertation projects. The winners of this year's award are Cami Ring and Haley Verdi. The Neil McIntyre Prize recognizes the best scholarly paper written by an English department graduate student. The winner of this year's award is Andrew Petraka. The Timothy Calhoun Memorial Prize for Poetry for the best poem or group of poems by a graduate student in the Department of English. The first and second place winners of this year's award are Britta Thielen and Charlie Erickson. The Department of Music presents the Adele Heinrich Award to a student who has demonstrated excellence in musicological research. The winner of this year's award is Sarah Kaufman. Congratulations, Sarah. The first award from the Department of Psychological Sciences, the Diversity, Culture, and Community Award, is given to a graduate student who demonstrates a passion and commitment to clinical work, research, advocacy, or community service in diversity and culture. The recipient this year is Elisa Barrero. Our next award, the Don K. Friedheim Award for an outstanding contribution to clinical service is given to students who exhibit superior clinical skills, clinical sensitivity, and rapport building during therapy placements. The winners this year are Chelsea Day and Alexandra Piedra. The Ethan Schaefer Assessment Award is for excellence and expertise in assessment, as evidenced by conducting outstanding evaluations and writing comprehensive reports and or doing an excellent job as lead teaching assistant in the assessment course and or making a real contribution in the assessment experience. The recipients of this year's award are Sylvia Hernandez and Alexandra Smith. The Jane Kessler Award for Outstanding Clinical Teaching is given to an excellent teaching assistant or course instructor who can ignite interest in course material and stimulate discussion. The winners this year are Kathy Benhamu and Samuel Seidman. The Joseph F. Fagan III Award for Research Excellence is awarded to a student who demonstrates a passion 
and commitment to research excellence. This year's recipient is Amanda Murner. The Kim Dimert Award is awarded to a graduating communication sciences master's student who demonstrates the qualities embodied by the late clinician and clinical supervisor, Kim Dimert, including patience, caring, compassion, and commitment to those who are critically ill. This award goes to Nina Pukas. The Master's Research Excellence Award is awarded to a student in their second or third year for research excellence that has the potential to have an impact on the field. The winner this year is Alexandra Piedra. The Morris Parloff Award for an outstanding contribution to clinical research is for a student whose research builds on or challenges established theory with findings having direct implications for clinical practice. This year's recipient is Eleanor Beal. The Sarah Kane Spinagel Graduate Student Award for meritorious service to the clinical program, field, or community is awarded to a student who actively and proactively participates in the clinical program and department events, and has a strong working relationship with the department and broader professional community as a leader. The winner of this year's award is Kelsey McGee. The final award for the, for the Department of Psychological Sciences is the T.J. McCallum Award for Community-Based Scholarship, which honors geropsychologist Dr. Todd T.J. McCallum, and is awarded to a student who demonstrates a passion for, communi for community-based scholarship. This year's recipient is Hope Vaccaro. Congratulations again to all of our College of Arts and Sciences award winners. Now presenting the School of Engineering award winners are Ronald Triolo, professor in the Department of Biomedical Engineering, Bill Yu, Professor and Chair of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, and Robert Gao, Professor and Chair of the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Friolo from the Department of Biomedical Engineering, and I'd like to introduce our graduate student awardees for the 2020-2021 academic year. The first award from the Department of Biomedical Engineering is the Excellence in Departmental External Service. This award recognizes current graduate students who've served the department or participated in external service activities in an exceptional manner. The winners this year are Sydney Song and Victoria Laney. The award for excellence in graduate teaching assistantship recognizes current graduate students who have shown excellence in a TA position in the academic year. Students receiving this award demonstrate diligence, punctuality, and initiative in the performance of their teaching assistantship duties in addition to patience and support towards their students. This year's awards go to Prathyush Shira and Amog Hiramath. The following students are recognized for their excellence in mentorship serving as outstanding formal or informal mentors to others in their lab or classes. The winners this year are Yi Zhang Shen and Prathyush Chira. A special award this year is for outstanding creativity in graduate experiential instruction. It's a special award for creating a hybrid learning experience for the biomaterials laboratory courses that effectively mixed hands-on and virtual elements. Our three graduate student winners are George Hoferlin, Olivia Krebs, and Yu Zhu. 
The Outstanding Graduate Career Award in Biomedical Engineering recognizes PhD students who exhibited overall excellence throughout their graduate career, including performing outstanding research, publishing high quality manuscripts, delivering engaging and high profile talks, and demonstrating leadership ability. The recipients of this year's award are Jacob Abtunis and Ujjal Didar Singh Sekal. The award for outstanding master's work is presented to Ryan David Reyes. And finally, the award for the Department of Biomedical Engineering for outstanding publication selected from faculty nominations by the BME Graduate Education Committee goes to Pranja Veda. Good afternoon. Representing the faculty of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, I'm pleased to announce the recipients of the 2021 Grad Students Award. The first one is the Civil Engineering Student Leadership Award. These awards are given to students who demonstrated excellent leadership to department student organizations. So the award recipient for this year are Xu Dong Fan and Xi Jin Zhang. Congratulations. The next award is the Craig J. Miller Memorial Award which are given to graduate students in civil engineering who have shown outstanding academic achievement. This year's award recipients are Xu Dong Fan and Sifa Zhong. The next award is the Kenneth M. Harbour Award, which are given for an outstanding student in civil engineering. We have three recipients selected by the department faculty for this year. Zhou Yingjiang, Mohammed Bin Hard Rahman, Xi Jin Zhen. Congratulations. The last award is the Zhou Hardy Prize, which are given for promising grad students in civil engineering. This year's award recipients are Yi Hang Duan, and Quan Huang, congratulations. Representing the faculty of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, I want to congratulate all these award recipients. Please keep up the good work. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 Graduate Students Awards Virtual Ceremony of the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. My name is Robert Gao and I'm a professor in the department chair. This year's award consists of two categories. The first one is titled Graduate Research Award in Memory of Xiaoyang Zhao. The award was created in 2017 through an endowment made by Professor Emeritus James Tan. It was conveyed each year to a group of PhD students who are selected by the department's Graduate Studies Committee based on the students' demonstrated scholarly publications in the previous year in technical journals of their respective field of research. The award consists of a catch award together with a certificate from the department. This year's student awardees consist of the following four students. First, Yungchen Man, who is a PhD student of Professor Umut Gorkan, Yunchen published multiple papers in the year of 2020. He works in the area of blood cells, molecules, and diseases. The next student awardee is Yan Jun Li, who is a PhD student of Professor Yating Liao. He works in the field of heat transfer, one of his uh, multiple papers. The third student awardee is Yue Chu, who is a PhD student of Shirak Karangati. He works in the field of heat and mass transfer in one of the papers. 
is illustrated here. Last but not least, we have a student of Bordi, Clarissa Goldsmith, who is a PhD student of Professor Roger Queen. The work is in the area of bio-inspiration and biomimetics. Congratulations to the four student awardees of the research award. The next category of award of the department is teaching award. The award is initiated in 2021, sponsored by the department. The award is planned to be conveyed each year to a group of graduate students who are also selected by the department's graduate studies committee. The selection criteria is based on the students' demonstrated excellence in teaching and dedication to undergraduate student education programs. The award consists of a cash award together with a certificate from the department. This year's student awardees consist of the three students, Clayton Cooper, Chinmay Shingoti, and Pushka Kanan. Congratulations to these three student awardees of the teaching award of the year 2020. Getting one of these awards is significant. In the category of research award, it contributes both or benefits both the student, the advisor, and the department. And as a teaching award recipient, it demonstrates the excellence in teaching and mentoring of our undergraduate students. And this contributes to effective learning. It also demonstrates our department's care to our graduate, undergraduate students, and it helps create an environment of peer-to-peer -peer support as well as an opportunity for training professors of the future. So congratulations to all the student recipient awardees. You have done a terrific job last year as demonstrated through your receipt, receipt of the awards. We wish you all the best in your, in your future career advancement. Thank you. Congratulations again to all of our School of Engineering Award winners. And now presenting the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences Award winner is Victor Groza, Professor and Chair of the Department of Social Welfare. The Errol Shack Dissertation Award is presented to an outstanding social welfare doctoral student at the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences. The winner of this year's award is Weedy Chin. Congratulations again to our Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences Award winner. And now presenting the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing Award winners are Joaquin Voss, Professor and Program Director of the PhD in Nursing Program, and Diana Morris, Associate Professor and Executive Director for the Center on Aging and Health. Ladies and gentlemen, the first award from the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing is the Benita Martoccio Award for Excellence in Oncology Nursing for Outstanding Accomplishments in Oncology Nursing Research. This year's winner is Tong Yao Wang. Our next award is the Dean's Legacy Award for Outstanding Achievements and Contributions to our school and the community. Exemplifying the legacy of academic excellence, service to the larger community, and the capacity for leadership and innovation in healthcare for which Francis Payne Bolton is so well known. This year's winner is Marian Lawler. Congratulations to both of our winners. Good afternoon. The Marie Haug Student Award of the University Center on Aging and Health in the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing is presented to graduate students who have distinguished themselves in studies of aging. The award honors Dr. Marie Haug, a medical sociologist and gerontologist who was a co-founder of the Center on Aging. The winners of this year's award are Jingming Han from the Department of Sociology and Devin Jones from the Jack, Joseph and Morton Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences. Congratulations. Congratulations again to all of our School of Nursing Award winners. And now presenting the School of Medicine Award winners are Darren Croft, 
Professor and Graduate Program Director of the Department of Anatomy, Cheryl Thompson, Associate Professor and Assistant Dean in the Graduate Education Office, and Marvin Neiman, Professor and Interim Associate Dean of the Graduate Education Office. It is my great pleasure to present the 2021 Herbert S. Stewart Memorial Award for Excellence in Anatomy. Herbert S. Stewart was a member of the Western Reserve University Medical School class of 1921. After completing residency, he opened up an office for radiology. In his spare time, he volunteered for the Department of Anatomy, and eventually he became a faculty member. He was appointed as a lab demonstrator in 1923, and he held that position until his untimely death in 1928 due to an accident in the course of investigative work in x-ray technology. A fund was created by his medical associates and personal friends to establish, quote, a memorial of his work and life perpetuated as far as possible in the department he loved best, anatomy. Since that time, the anatomy department has annually conferred this award, which is accompanied by a $500 honorarium, to one or more worthy students. The first award was conferred to a medical student, Bert Held, in 1929. In the 1960s, PhD students were also considered for the award, and since 2002, the recipients have generally been two master's students. Selection is based on GPA, performance in core courses, and other academic contributions and achievements. This year's recipients of the Herbert S. Stewart Memorial Award for Excellence in Anatomy are Amber Jin and Kate Bodner. Congratulations, Amber and Kate. My name is Cheryl Thompson, and I'm an associate professor in the Department of Nutrition and Assistant Dean of Educational Initiatives for the School of Medicine. It is truly an honor to be here to recognize exceptional academic performance, research, and or scholarship by outstanding master's and PhD graduates in programs within the School of Medicine. Our first award is a Charlotte E. Smith Award in Public Health Nutrition. This award is given to a student who demonstrates outstanding academic performance in public health nutrition, actively participates in furthering the mission of the department, and possesses potential for success in the chosen field of emphasis. This year's winner is Mark Kusaka. The following three awards are for master's students who exhibit excellence in an academic field as selected by their program leadership. The academic excellence for the master's in biomedical and health informatics goes to Joseph Megaline. The academic excellence for the master's in biostatistics goes to Lindsay Petrenchik. And the academic excellence for the master's in genetic counseling goes to Lexi Hubble. Final word for master's students is for the Outstanding Student Educator Award from the Applied Anatomy Program. This year's winner is Carolyn Rudishauer. Congratulations to all the master's students who have won an award this year. I now turn this over to my colleague, Marvin Neiman, who will give awards for our doctoral students in the School of Medicine. The Arthur F. W. Hughes Award in Developmental Biology recognizes outstanding work by a student in developmental or reproductive biology. This year's winner is Cheng Wang. The Lester O. Krampens Research Award for Best Predoctoral Research is presented to PhD students for outstanding research in PhD programs in molecular biology, molecular virology, or cell biology. This year's winner is Angelica Cruz Lebron. The 2021 School of Medicine Doctoral Excellence Awards are now in their 12th year. These awards recognize and honor outstanding scholarship and service among our PhD graduates in various fields of biomedical sciences. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Biochemistry is presented to Tian He. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Biomedical Engineering is presented to Niha Beige. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Clinical Translational Science is presented to Caroline El Sandi. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Genetics and Genome Sciences is presented to Zita Hubler. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Molecular Medicine is presented to Courtney Hirschberger. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Neuroscience is presented to Zaki Dong. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Pathology is presented to Daniel Leonard. The Doctoral Excellence Award in Pharmacology is presented to Xu Han. 
the Doctoral Excellence Award in Physiology and Biophysics as presented to Yuan Kai. It is truly an honor to recognize these outstanding PhD and master's students and the impressive achievements they have earned during their research experience at Case Western Reserve University. Congratulations again to all of our School of Medicine award winners, as well as all of our 2021 award winners from each school. We thank you for your hard work and dedication. Thank you to all the presenters from the schools and the college, and congratulations again to the student winners. We now come to the awards administered by the School of Graduate Studies. And now presenting the School of Graduate Studies award winners are Jen Brown, Director of the Office of Graduate Student Life, Elise Geither, Associate Director of the Spoken English Language Programs, and Charles Rosick, Vice Provost for Academic and Faculty Affairs in the School of Graduate Studies. The next awards are administered by the School of Graduate Studies. Our first award, the Graduate Student Appreciation Award, recognizes graduate students that make a difference on our campus and or the Cleveland community. Winners of this award are nominated by faculty, staff, or students. The winners of this year's awards are Rong Bai, Adrian Bettel, Victoria Laney, Colette Nagana, Guillermo Perda, Katrina Pymont, Rita Thielen, and Katie Troike. Congratulations. Our next award is the Graduate Dean's Instructional Excellence Award. The Graduate Dean's Instructional Excellence Award is presented to graduate teaching assistants in recognition of providing outstanding instruction to the students of the university. It presents academic departments with an annual opportunity to honor students who have shown exceptional skills and dedication in their work. It is also a way for us to stress the importance we place on the undergraduate experience at Case by recognizing quality at another key point of student contact with this university. The winners of this year's awards are Kathleen Di Domenico, David Dimitri, Aziz Radwan, Michael Sloan, and Haley Verdi. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you to our presenters. I have the honor of announcing the last three awards administered by the School of Graduate Studies. Our next award is named for Lenore A. Cola, Associate Professor Emerita of Social Work at the Jack, Joseph, and Morton Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences and former Dean of the School of Graduate Studies. During her time as Dean, Dr. Kola implemented numerous changes in graduate studies that increased services provided to its constituents. She also mentored graduate student Senate members, encouraging them to give back to the university community and become more actively engaged in the life of the university. Dr. Kola's efforts resulted in a very active graduate student senate leadership team that serves their fellow graduate students on many different levels. In recognition of Dr. Kola's contributions to the graduate student body and the graduate student senate, the School of Graduate Studies established the Lenore A. Kola Graduate Student Community Service Award in 2006. This annual award is presented to a graduate student actively engaged in a graduate student organization in recognition of their service to the university community. The winner of this year's award is Carolyn Rudishauser. Our next award is the Ruth Barber Moon Award. The Ruth Barber Moon Endowment Fund was established in 1992 to annually award graduate students on the basis of their academic promise, leadership ability, and financial need. As alumni of Delbert College and the School of Graduate Studies, Mr. and Mrs. Moon have shown a lifelong dedication to academia and leadership in education as public school teachers through their civic involvement and their generous support to the university. 
The winners of this year's award are Christina Collins, Daniel Hamilton, Erica Johnson, Aaron McPeck. The last award from the School of Graduate Studies is for Richard A. Zadonis, Provost and University Vice President Emeritus and Professor Emeritus of Physics. Dr. Zadonis served as Case Western Reserve University's Provost from 1988 to 2000. The Richard A. Zadonis Research Fellowship is presented to a PhD student in recognition of their research creativity and its contribution to the student's field of practice. This year's winner is Nathan Daugherty. Congratulations again to all of our School of Graduate Studies award winners. Our final awards for this year are the John S. Deakoff Awards for Graduate Teaching and Mentoring. I thought I would take a minute and share with you a brief history of John Deakoff and the awards which are named in his honor. John Deakoff received his bachelor's degree from the University of Michigan and his PhD in English from Western Reserve University. Professor Deakoff was a distinguished scholar of the works of the English poet John Milton. He was highly regarded as a teacher and as a mentor of faculty and students. He also was a skilled administrator to whom the university entrusted some of its more daunting challenges. During his career, Professor Deakoff was Dean of Cleveland College, Professor in Arts and Sciences, Professor of English, Chairman of the Department of English, Associate Dean of Arts and Sciences, Vice Provost, and served twice as Acting Dean of the School of Graduate Studies. In 1980, Vera Deakoff, John's wife, established the John S. Deakoff Endowment Fund for Distinguished Graduate Teaching in honor of her husband. In 2009, after consultation with the Graduate Student Senate, the School of Graduate Studies established a second set of awards named the John S. Deakoff Awards for Graduate Mentoring. These new annual awards offer recognition to faculty who are distinguished mentors of graduate students. In my estimation, the significance of the Deakoff Awards is determined by the manner in which the winners are selected. The entire process, from nomination to the selection of winners, is conducted by a committee of the Graduate Student Council. Therefore, it's appropriate that we now hear from Emily Sabo, Chair of the Deakoff Awards Selection Committee. Thank you, Dean Rosick. My name is Emily Sabo. I am a PhD candidate in mechanical engineering and this year's Decoff Committee Chair. I'm very excited to present the 2021 Decoff Award winners. First, I'd like to recognize this year's Student Committee. The Decoff Committee consisted of graduate students representing a wide range of departments and disciplines within the School of Graduate Studies. These students volunteered their time throughout the spring semester, reviewing nearly 75 applications for these awards. I'd like to thank them for their time and enthusiasm throughout the selection process. First, I will announce the two recipients of the 2021 John S. Decoff Award for Excellence in Graduate Teaching. I would like to congratulate Professors Philip Cola and Andrew Crofton. Philip Cola is an Associate Professor of Design and Innovation. The committee was impressed by Professor Cola's dedication to ensuring students are comfortable in the classroom by incorporating the concept of psychological safety. One of Professor Cola's students wrote that he has the ability to unlock a student's true potential for scholarship. He encourages students to dig deeper and look beyond the surface. Congratulations, Professor Cola. Andrew Crofton is an assistant professor of anatomy. The committee was inspired by Professor Crofton's innovative approaches in the classroom, incorporating hands-on activities to facilitate diverse learning methods. 
One student wrote that Professor Crofton goes above and beyond his call to educate. He mentors students who seek deeper explanations of course material, encourages learning through creative classroom assignments and labs, and develops unique learning experiences for students. Congratulations, Professor Crofton. Next, I will announce the two recipients of the 2021 John S. Dekoff Award for Excellence in Graduate Mentoring. I would like to congratulate Professors Jessica Fox and Daniel Goldmark. Jessica Fox is an Associate Professor of Biology. Professor Fox says that mentoring is the best thing she's done and enjoys celebrating successes, both big and small, with her trainees. You'll find Professor Fox spending time eating lunch with her students every day when on campus. One of Professor Fox's trainees wrote, Professor Fox never stops being your mentor. I know that I will always be able to go to her for help and advice. I'm sure when I start my own lab, she will be the first person I contact to ask questions. Congratulations, Professor Fox. Daniel Goldmark is a professor of music. Professor Goldmark has been engaged with mentoring not only within the Department of Music, but the broader Case Western Reserve University community. His passion for mentoring and music is infectious and working with graduate students brings him joy and motivation to become a better teacher and mentor. One of Professor Goldmark's advisees wrote, Professor Goldmark wears many different hats, but never once have I felt that I am not a priority. Congratulations, Professor Goldmark. On behalf of this year's DCOF committee, I would like to congratulate our winners. It has been an honor to continue this tradition. Thank you, Emily. Congratulations to all of our outstanding recipients. Please join me in one last round of applause. Before we go, I want to thank you for joining us today. Thanks to the students and faculty for their hard work and for the enrichment they have brought to the university community. Thank you for those who support them, faculty, family, and friends. Thank you to the staff in the School of Graduate Studies for all they do to make students successful at this university.